Good day. Welcome to J.E. Philippines, J.E. and Chep Supplemental Lecture. For this segment, we will be talking about strategies in adjusting your business plan. This is Hector Angeles, the CEO and founder of Mad Elephant PH. Strategies in adjusting your business plan. We'll be talking about having the right mindset first, and then the expectations during business operations, and different factors that influence a pivot. Launching and running a business is filled with risks. But when it comes to planning for success, the more you prepare the actions and risks are more ca calculated. So making decisions without thought is a recipe for disaster. So before you decide to take your company in a new direction, take the time to prepare. So these are actually some of the expectations during operations. Definitely your business plan, no matter how good or how proper it would seem, there are always problems along the way. And like nearly all the for forecasts that business people do or business teams do, sometimes they just fail and they have some internal and external factors that really affect them, which we'll be discussing in the next um, slides. The key here is to adjust to reality, to opportunity, and to customers' unmet needs, and to competitors' weak chinks. Okay, strategies in adjusting your business plans. Second topic will be having the right mindset. Number one, trust your own ideas and strength. As the founder, you started it all. You started with a business plan. You have your own business plan. So you trust your own ideas and strength. What, what is your strength as a person? What is the strength of you seeing the company persevere or seeing the company in the industry? Next, know your worth and be willing to change accordingly. Know the worth of your team, of your company, of your product, of your services. But... Be willing to change accordingly, depending on the market's needs, the market's demands, and your own team's performance and efficiency. Next, realize that you can do everything alone. Okay, as a leader, you have to properly delegate and you need to properly trust your team. So with this, with trust, knowing your worth in uh, realizing that you have a good team are the things that can contribute on having the right mindset. To make a good plan great, you need to adjust you. This is the first step. The biggest adjustment in your business plan or in your business can be a pivot. So every startup experiences consider considerable difficulties on the road to success. But you have to know the difference between an obstacle and an imp impossibility. In other words, when things get tough, Ask yourself this question, can this problem still be solved with more research, with more customer development, with marketing, with branding, with funding, or etc.? If the answer is maybe or no, you can really think of a solution, regardless of how improbable it may be, then you might just need to consider a pivot. Okay? So... These are the influencers. Number one, there's too much competition. So your idea may seem unique at the start when you, when you start your business plan, when you start talking to your stakeholders. But, but there's always the chance that a bigger company or a more unique company with more resources and funding starts pulling up more projects or more products with the same offerings as yours. And a built-in audience already will come along the way and create an offering that's actually more or less very likely your product or your business within the same industry, but only it is better. And since you don't have really much of a choice in this situation, your company is probably better off doing something very different. So this is also would apply to a change of business model. For example, if you're selling or if you're trading online you might as well consider doing it offline or in the traditional way or if you're considering you can also consider doing it on a traditional to an online way that we're in most of the business nowadays are doing such things next limited market response you can do 
all the customer development and research and R&D in this world, but because you have someone say that you would, you would pay X amount for your offering now, doesn't mean, or if you have a lot of Facebook followers, if you have online followers, and um, a lot of people are actually your fans online, it doesn't mean that they will actually buy your product. So um, a few months, six, uh, six months, or a year down the line, when you've actually built your business, build your company, and then you have to always check, is there really a response? Are they really buying your product or are they really um, patronizing your services? That's something you have to answer again. Next, you as the owner has changed the perspective. So once you've launched your company and you've been running for some time, a few months, a few years, there's a possibility that you yourself your goals, your visions, your values would change. Regard researching a niche and experiencing it firsthand are completely different from one another. And sometimes you actually lose the spark. Okay? And you may realize that one day there are other more lucrative avenues for you to pursue in that your current course isn't just for you. Of course, you being as a leader, if you die down on that passion, your company and your organization will actually feel that and can actually be a big influence in how they work, factors that can influence a pivot. So this has been Hector Angeles for the strategies in adjusting your business plan.